all right all right guys welcome back to another video guys it is friday we made it through the week and today is friday night fish friday and i got me some nice good fried flounder patties right here had a few more of those flounder filet not flounder filet is it flounder filet it is flounder filet come on can you get it together <laughs> but in any case guys we're gonna jump into this video and i'm gonna show you exactly how i get this done Alrighty guys, so here's what I have right here. I had a few packets of these flounder filet right here. I thought they were just so small and so thin for my liking, so I didn't bother to really fry them up or anything anymore. But I'm just going to get those in the oven, let them cook, and then I'll just crumble them up, make them into patties. Using a little bit of onion, one egg, some black pepper, seasoning salt, and onion powder. Alright, so these are my fillets right here. I got them all lined up on my little baking sheet right here. And all I did was just pop these things in the oven and forget that they were in the oven. So they came out <laughs> looking like jerky. <laughs> looking like some fish jerky, but nonetheless, we still gonna go ahead and get these inside of this bowl. Get these all broken up. Once I add this egg to it and everything, it's going to be fine. Alright, so we'll go ahead and get those in. And then I started using my tongue here to break it up. And I was like, no, this isn't going to work. So I just ditched that tongue and went inside of there with my hands, guys, and just... Got that all crumbled up. No one is going to be eating this except me, so I'm not worried about it. And I just got this all crumbled up just as such. And then once I got it all crumbled, then I'm going to come in, add my uh, egg inside of here. I'm only going to be using one egg, and this guy's, I didn't have a lot of this left. So one egg is going to be just fine for this right here. All right, so I'll get that egg mixed in. I add a little bit of this onion in here first. This is like a half of a medium onion. I didn't uh, put all of it in, just a couple spoonfuls inside of here. Then I'm going to season this up a little black pepper. And some onion powder. All right, then I'm going to add me some seasoning salt in here. And that's going to be it for the seasonings. You could definitely put anything that you would like to put inside of here. All right, so then I'll just go ahead and give that a good mix. Get all of that nice and combined together. All right, and once I get all of that combined, I'm going to come in and add just a little regular all-purpose flour inside of here. That's going to help to really hold these patties together. So I'm going to put about two tablespoons or so inside of here. All right, I'm going to give that another mix. Get my flour incorporated, and then this is going to be ready to go inside of our frying pan. I'm going to get our grease nice and hot. And these things are going to fry up in less than no time. Alrighty guys, so we're going to get these fried off right now. Do you guys see my big double burner? This is probably new to some of you guys, but I had this thing uh, since I actually first started making videos, but I felt it was so big and bulky that I switched to the single burner. So I just had this thing tucked off out of sight and then finally my little single burner 
gave out on me the other night as I was making my, uh, I forgot what video I was making, but it gave out on me and just went and took this one back out of the box. Got this up and rolling. You can see my patties are nice and golden brown. I forgot to show the clip when I first flipped them, but this is how they look after I gave them a flip. And I'm going to come in here again and I'm going to flip these guys one more time. Get on over there. All right, you see they have a nice, beautiful golden brown color. Nice and crispy around the edges. I'm not going to take these things long to cook maybe about seven eight minutes at the most all right and now they are ready to come out guys look at this nice beautiful golden brown flounder patties i'm just gonna get these out set aside on my cooling rack and let them drain All right, so once I get this last one out, I do have me some steak fries that I caught on sale, guys. These things will buy one, get one bag free. And I forgot to get the second bag. <laughs> oh, man, I promise you, it cannot make this stuff up, guys. I, I just absolutely lose it sometimes. I forgot to get the second bag, which was free, but... In any case, I just fried these steak fries up to go with it on the side. Made me a nice little homemade uh, tartar sauce. Plate this up, take my thumbnails and videos, and I'm going to give it a taste test for you guys. All right, all right, guys. Coming in with a quick taste test. This is my Friday night fish. Got me a nice, good flounder patty burger. Some steak fries, homemade tartar sauce, and a little ketchup. Just gonna let y'all see the patty and the tartar sauce first. And I definitely got some tartar sauce on the bottom. Good that. All right, give that a taste test. big bite <laughs> but that's so good I found it was nice and juicy I thought it was dried out leaving it in the oven too long but adding that egg back into it mm. that's good my steak fries Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Man, this is mine so I can double dip. Mm, look at that. I'm about to go in. Mm. Alrighty guys, this was an absolutely delicious meal. Nice, quick, and simple. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. And also subscribe to the channel if you are new. And you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and Twitch TV. Cooking and Chilling with Kenny. And I will see you guys in my Sunday video. I'm going to be doing some dirty rice, potato salad, and pork chops. Alrighty guys, don't forget to hashtag. Just be a blessing to someone. Peace.